Oh my goodness, it feels like a year since I last vlogged, which is so ridiculous because it was only actually in LA last month. How are you? I hope you are well. Today is Monday. It is actually like an okay day. Like there are clouds in the sky, but we can see the sky, which is an achievement if you live in the UK. I feel a bit like disjointed just sitting here in my, like, uh, what's the word, my bedroom, because normally I sit in my kitchen when it's Monday morning and I'm introing you to like what's going on. But I thought today I'd sit in here because I've just done my makeup. And the reason I've just done my makeup is because tonight, I'm going to a premiere. I'm gonna to go to The Last Christmas premiere, which is a film that when I saw the trailer, I was so excited for, I can't even tell you. Okay, so Last Christmas, I've just checked online, it comes out on the 15th of November in the UK, which I am absolutely buzzing for. It's gonna be such a good film. If you wanna watch the trailer, I'll link it below. Christmas is just like my favorite time of year in the whole world. I love the build up. I love the whole thing. I love the food. This film has my one true love, Emma Thompson in it. And the guy from Crazy Rich Asians, who I think is called Henry Golding, who is like actually stunning. Every time I look at him, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get to see him in the flesh, which I am monumentally excited for. So it's like afternoon time. I've just spent my morning doing like easing myself into work. I'm gonna talk a little bit about this thing I'm feeling a lot later in the vlog, but I'm just feeling a little bit of burnout. So I'm trying to avoid full burnout by taking things as easy as I can and making stuff, but not putting pressure on myself to make too much. Anyway, on that note, I've just had like a slow-ish morning, but I've like planned my week, done my emails, sorted all that stuff out, and I've just done my makeup for the premiere. Ooh, so excited. I feel like I'm a little bit zoomed in. Can I zoom out a little bit? I have a video to film and then like some cutaways to film, and then I'm gonna put on my party gear and go down to collect my tickets and then go to the premiere. I just had to go and delete some stuff off my memory card, but I am back. Yeah, I was just gonna say that I am working with Last Christmas on this video, but it is 100%, just a normal 168 hours. If I were going and doing all this cool stuff, I'd be documenting it anyway. I'm just absolutely buzzed they wanna work with me, so thank you guys. I'm glad you shared my love of wonderful Christmas rom-coms. So tonight is the premiere, tomorrow I'm going on this Last Christmas themed bus tour where we're gonna see some of the places the film was filmed. <laughs> Good words. The rest of my week is pretty chilled out. I'm going to my friend's amateur boxing match on Thursday, and then I actually don't know what I'm up to on Saturday and Sunday, let me check. Oh, and I've got brunch with Hannah Bethan and Dodie on Saturday, so that'll be lovely and nice. I'm now gonna go and film those little bits of videos, and then I'm gonna be like ready for the premiere. So I'm all ready to go. I just spent the afternoon filming this IGTV video, which as you can see over here has left my dresser in an absolute state. And yeah, I'm all ready to go. Let me show you my outfit. Hey, it's when I film on this camera what I'm wearing because it's just, I don't know why, it's just not great quality. Let me take a step forward and see if that's any better. What you are seeing here is this incredible coat from, oh my goodness, Whistles from Whistles, which I bought a couple of weeks ago. It's amazing, I never thought I'd want this, but I love it. Anyway, underneath, as you might be able to see, I'm wearing my, <sighs> It's not going to show up very well, is it? But this black wrap top that's kind of this satin material. I bought it from Topshop last year or the year before, and it's one of the best purchases I made. It gets so much evening wear. And then we have just some plain jeans from MIH. They are this sustainable jeans brand. They're really wonderful. And then on my feet are these Everlane boots. I love these Everlane boots. They're great, they're called the Boss Boot. Bags is a bit more confusing. I am gonna bring this little bag that I really don't like. <laughs> Let me show you it. This bag here, can you see how it sticks? All of the dangly bits stick to the, to the handly bit. It is just, not good. However, it is the only fancy bag I own. Um, I, I, my bag game is really terrible and always has been. So I really need to improve it. That's a name. Kind of goes with what I'm wearing. It's just like super fine and average, but yeah, it's not cute. Okay, now let's go to the premiere. We're on the way to the carpet. <laughs> to report Kylie Minogue is in the building. Now I feel like a creep. Okay, we are in 
inside the building, we're in the BFI, and we are on the road to see the film. We just had a wee, great fun. Right, not many people get me this excited, but Jack just spotted Louis Theroux. Henry Golding. <laughs> Our fearless, fearless heroine in this film, Amelia Clark. So the film was wonderful. I loved it. I had a really good cry, uh, but in a happy, a happy cry. Um, it was really good. <laughs> I'd highly recommend. And we've just left. Also, we stood really close to Louis Theroux as we left, which was like. <laughs> just captures my heart. Um, and now, just off to Oaxaca to get some food. I'll speak to you tomorrow when we're going on a bus tour. Good morning. I look a bit like a pope again today. Um, that is, I just, I've got ready so fast because I had a big old tum flare up this morning, which has been not fun. <laughs> but um, yeah, now I'm just racing to get out the door because I'm already running 10 minutes late. So when I have a flare up, I don't know if this is of interest to anyone, but I am on the toilet for about half an hour and it's really like, it slows you down, let's just say. So, so this is what I put together last minute. We are in a polo neck, a fingers crossed jumper, jeans, and I'm gonna be wearing my Converse. I am on a bus tour of London that I am so excited for. It's with the last Christmas team and I'm buzzing for it, but like, oh man, my stomach. <laughs> mushroom head. Yeah, so we're here and we have been, like a bunch of places, we've seen the grasshopper in the film, we've seen the rats, mice, mice. and we've, <laughs> Becca, my director. <laughs> And we met, we met the director of the movie. We did! Yeah. Becca got to chat to him. Is he nice? He was, such, he was such a lovely man. But also I was a bit naughty and I mentioned another movie that he did because <laughs> I really love that movie. <laughs> I like, love this movie as well, but yeah, that... got to mention another one of his. Anyway, we now have umbrellas as well because it's raining. Very well branded. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Sorry, I'm fully poking you with this. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, it's Covent Garden next, I think. sunniest place in the whole world. I can't quite believe it, so uh, sorry about that. I slept for 11 hours last night, which is impressive even for me. I am very well rested. I slept like a log. Yesterday was really intense for me because my stomach had an episode before I went out, so I was zombie lady until about four o'clock. But you know what, it perked up at the end. Um, and I had such a lovely time, so thank you so much Last Christmas team for bringing me on this amazing trip. Get in there and see the film, it's so good, so funny, made me have a little cry in the, in the end. It was just really lovely and if you're a Christmas rom-com person, just love something wholesome, I couldn't recommend it enough. So this morning I have some pear and birch and muesli. Just to like nibble on, I'm not particularly hungry. I have such a weird stomach post these like episodes. I get starving hungry afterwards and then my stomach reacts again, usually, and then it kind of calms down a bit and then I'm kind of not hungry at all. I think I just need to not eat out anymore. I've eaten out for like the past three or four days. Last night I cooked a nice pasta sauce. So, you know, I chilled out, I had a bath. I'm just trying to like build back into that routine because like when you're eating loads of stuff from loads of places your body or at least my body is just like 
what's happening. And if it's got gluten in it, well, you can kiss your next day goodbye. So today, I actually don't know what I need to do. I need to sit down, plan my week. Lovely uh, little diary I have. Just give it a plan. I've part filmed about three videos now. I just need to edit them or keep filming them, like with this one. Yeah, I need to send off my sponsor stuff from yesterday. If you don't know, when you do sponsored work, you send it off for approval and then a brand might come back and ask for some changes and then you'll modify it and then you send it back again. That's weirdly quite a time consuming process. So I'm gonna factor in some of that today. I should probably tell you a bit about like my brain. Recently, I've not been feeling great in specifically to do with my work and my health. I think just the two are combining to make, oh, my fridge is switched off. Um, the two are combining just to make that really hard for me at the moment in my brain. And it's fine. Like it's totally manageable. I'm very lucky in my job. I do not have anything to complain about. However, for some reason, I don't take advantage of the wonderful parts of my job, which mean I can take some space. So I've decided I'm gonna try and take a month off between December and January, like the last two weeks of December and the first two weeks of January to just like properly disconnect from making videos. I'm obviously gonna pre-film some things, don't worry, but I'm just gonna like properly step back. I'll still be on socials, but like, I think there's so much pressure in my head at the moment to make good videos, but what a good video is has changed so much since I started and I still feel a little bit behind and a little bit like, like I'm not making my best stuff and a bit burned out. And to avoid burnout, because normally I only stop and crash when I have burnout, to avoid burnout, I'm taking this time off. And as my housemate Aviva puts it, she was like, we don't take annual leave. So it's all your annual leave in one. In fact, you actually have more left over that you could take. And I was like, wow, mind blown. I don't take annual leave. <laughs> so this is my annual leave all in one. I'm gonna spend a lot of time with my friends and family but I'm really planning to go out and absorb lots of creative things. I'm gonna read a bunch, I'm gonna go to galleries, I'm gonna be around people who are doing other kinds of art, I'm gonna try and do other kinds of creating as well, just to try and get my mojo back, because at the moment, my mojo is like fast disappearing, it's like waving at me from across the street, like lol, get in the Uber, bye. <laughs> and I just would like it back, please and thank you. But like, for some reason, the idea of taking time off is like a huge whoa for me. Like, I'm like, oh my God, this is like a really big deal. I'm taking time off, which is so dumb. Like, people take time off all the time. I should not feel bad about it. And yeah, I just need to be extra organized because already I feel like my motivation is so low. So I just need to push through that last bit of motivation. And then from the 16th of December, I can properly like decompress and not have to pressure myself into doing work at the moment, which is what I'm doing. I'm sure everyone relates to that. We've all been there. That's what's been on my mind. I just thought I'd tell you. And there'll be stuff on my blog as well, because I like blogging. Blogging's good. I'm gonna be making some stuff, but I'm sorry if it's not the standard that it normally is or that you would expect from me because I'm tired in my brain and I'm really sorry. It's not you, <laughs> it's me. And please know that I'm gonna try and fix it. It's so weird because you're creating a thing a week that has to be fully formed. And most people don't have to create a thing a week that is fully formed, other than people who like write, if you're like a journalist. But even then it's usually like two weeks, I think. So I think it makes total sense why YouTubers burn out all the time. I just don't prioritize myself in this whole equation. I'm like prioritizing content, which is like so meta and really dystopian and weird. So it's time to prioritize me. Ooh, so I can prioritize my content. Oh, so backwards, right. I just turned on the camera and looked at myself and I look so funny. Morning, it is Wednesday. This may not be evident how ridiculous this is, but I'm working in Jack's bed today because um, one of his housemates has lost his keys. Oh, his keys, his girlfriend has his keys. So I have a set of keys to this house. So I said, have my keys. However, everyone left this morning and <laughs> forgot to let me know. So I'm locked in the house, which is fine. Um, there's food in the fridge. I have like my flask of water. I've had a like oh my god these are my favorite thing in the world at the moment these are deliciously ella baked oat bars um this apple raisin and cinnamon is the best one it's the best and um yeah i have them i buy them for jack's house so that i can just pick one up and leave in the mornings uh when i go home because we're like i say we're like a 40 minute journey like i tell myself it's 30 but it's not really so i did a load of editing last night and i lost it all i'm 
sad. <laughs> it all corrupted in the hard drive, which is just not ideal. So I've got to re-edit that now, which is what I'm about to get into. I'm just watching some of my old videos for inspiration, which is like not something I normally do at all. But yeah, and I did my emails, all that fun stuff. I'm wearing a scarf because it's chilly. And yeah, that's all I really have to say, I think. Oh my god, tonight is so exciting. So we are going to see uh, Jack's housemate Connor in a boxing match. He is doing his first match and it's at the Clap and Grand if you've ever been. It's like, I really like the Clap and Grand. I think those guys are great. And um, like I went to a Bridget Jones night there a couple of months ago. Uh, th that was in 160 hours actually. But yeah, um, so I'm really excited for that. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about watching an amateur boxing match. I don't know. Yeah, we're there all evening and that'll be fun. So I need to get my work done because I have to head off at like 4.30. Hopefully someone will come home around two and let me leave because otherwise, I guess I can leave everything here, but like, I'm gonna be so cold. <laughs> Though I'm not wearing a good top today. I've done up my, uh, my cord shirt which is in the video I'm editing right now, which is uh, the autumn haul that I've been putting off for years and years. Enough of my rambling, I am gonna edit this video. Also, I just realized we have dinner from last night, the leftovers Jack accidentally left in the fridge, so I actually have lunch as well. So, I just finished the edit for the second time and, um, my computer crashed again. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> you are actually joking. I just tried to put colors on it, so I think it might be the Pixel Film Studio plugin um, that's making it go, but like, oh wow, that was just, I just spent too much time doing that for it to crash. <laughs> okay, I'm really lucky. I rarely ever get issues with my hard drives or with um, my editing or my software or anything and corrupted files or anything so I'm very lucky this is so rare but and it's only like it's only a vlog it's not like um like 160 hours or something but fuck oh so annoying hello I've made this a bit wider I've just updated my whole system maybe final cut will work now maybe that's kind of dead tackle on my face I look like a mad professor um oh I just ran up the stairs I always run upstairs and I always get out of breath so I just had lunch which was leftovers from yesterday thank god Jack left that here by accident this morning unfortunately uh Josh is not gonna come home until four we have to leave here at 4 30 anyway so I'm just wearing yesterday's clothes to the fight I've changed my top and my underwear and that's the important thing but you know, I like to look funky fresh. I think I'll write a blog post or something. I don't really know. I'm worried about the battery running out on this. So I'm probably gonna stop vlogging and you'll see me later at the fight. Ah. Shooting contest, I think you can see. Both of these men giving it all for our entertainment. And we can tell you, as the referee pulls them into position, ladies and gentlemen, that contest, a draw! Good morning. We had a lovely time at the fight. Connor drew, which was great. Um, and my camera's about to die. I did not expect to wake up here again. I was just so tired and I still didn't have a key. So I came back here. Um, I didn't have my stuff, I mean, so I came back here. But yeah, good morning. Hello, I'm back at my house and I've been just like pottering about, uh, kind of doing little things, had a call with my sister. But now I am thinking, I'm just in the mood to like tidy things up and clean things out. I find it quite stressful, weirdly, something I never thought I'd find stressful, that I'm sent lots of lovely things in the post and I'm immensely grateful for it. But um, I'm having like a kind of sale for my friends and family uh, where all the money goes to shelter at the end of um, the month because uh, yeah, I've just got like an excess of stuff and it would make perfect Christmas presents for people and gifts for friends and family. So I'm gonna kind of organize that stuff. I think I'm gonna clear out my underwear drawer because there is so much, isn't it weird how knickers just like, and like tights and socks just like collect for years. 
like I don't really ever clear out my underwear and I think now is the time. Also I've got my, my Christmas lights on. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting some nice little Christmas decorations for the house and ordering a tree. <gasps> oh my god. I worry that people think I'm insincere when <laughs> I do like a spawn and I'm like I love Christmas but genuinely I actually love it. It's dark already. It's like five o'clock. <sighs> it's outrageous. That is a very dead plant. I think because I'm having a night in I'm gonna tidy maybe get a takeaway because I have no food in the house, finished all my veg up and just have a really nice chill one. And tomorrow morning, I think I'm going to go to Broadway Market and then down to Grace and Thorn, which is a lovely, lovely, lovely independent, um, what are they, florist. <laughs> and I think I'm going to get a replacement for that ivy up there. Never, never have ivy indoors in London. It just doesn't, it just dies. And then I'm probably going to get a string of pearls because they last quite well. And then um, another plant replacement in the other room because that plant in our living room is dead. Oh, I bought this lovely thing. Ugh, what do you even call it? Toothbrush holder from H&M. Sorry, this is not a cute background. <laughs> but um, I bought this toothbrush and like toothpaste holder from H&M because I think it, it's got this blue toned gray. So I think it will go with our bathroom tiles just to like have everything neatly in a holder. I think it's quite nice, you know, just does the job. I also bought a soap. This is the Lush Poppy Soap. Smells like, it says it smells like blackcurrant and ginseng, which I think is quite accurate. And it's my incentive for clearing out my underwear drawers because then I'll put it in there and let it fragrance everything. How does one gain this many water bottles? I am so grateful, again, for being sent things, but nearly every product now comes with a reusable water bottle or a reusable set of metal straws. So I've got like 40 metal straws in here. I've got maybe 10 reusable water bottles in here and I've given some to friends as well and then I've also got maybe four or five reusable heat cups like reusable what are they called coffee cups and I've got wine I've got Prosecco holders reusable Prosecco glasses I'm really sorted for my glassware I always worry that someone's come over and written something really rude on this and then I vlog by it but not today okay I'm gonna clean up now this is about to die charge this clean up my lights <laughs> So if you don't know, it's this documentary uh, promoting a plant-based diet that is heavily marketed at men. It talks about your erections getting more frequent and larger, gaining protein from plants, like athletes, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger is in it. Like it's very like, woo, go plant-based because you're a real man. And that was really interesting, but I actually found it more convincing than a lot of other documentaries. I think mainly because it doesn't shame. I think that's a really powerful thing. Like the first thing I thought when I finished it was I need to send this to my dad and my mum. My parents have eaten meat twice a day, if not three times a day, every day for their whole lives. Yeah, I just thought it was super convincing. I think it did a really good job. It puts it in the context of it being, not even an occasional treat, but in the same lane as drinking, smoking, not getting enough sleep, like a wellness context, regularly because of the inflammation it causes, in the same way that alcohol makes you, gives you inflammation and Smoking is really bad for you. But then it said nothing about fish in the whole documentary. That does make me wonder if fish is fine. Anyway, I'll go do those things. Oh my god, look at this. Woo. So very good. It's Bethan. You know Bethan. Uh, <laughs> we just had a very nice brunch at Bill's and now buying ibuprofen and a makeup palette. Yes, because I forgot everything. <laughs> oh, and now we're going to a kilo sale for vintage clothing. I got Vic's first defense because I'm getting a cold on Bethan's recommendation. So I'm excited to be fixed. Oh, it's okay. I know, it's horrible. Okay, I've done two in each. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that's unpleasant. And you're gonna be like, oh my oh, god, I feel like so wrapped okay. in ten minutes. We're and going in, this way. In like an in like an hour, you're gonna be like, I feel amazing. Hopefully. <laughs>
left. Oh, there's toilets. Oh, amazing. Nothing needs a wee. Yes. <laughs> Thank um, you for sharing on your walk. It was good. Beth and got a really nice soft jumper. What do we think of the kilo cell? Uh, I wasn't think... my style. Ooh. I got some earrings though. Good. I like this Ooh. jumper and nothing else. So <laughs> is that a positive? I guess. I, don't know. I think we need to get there earlier. That's yeah. my theory. Next yeah. time, earlier. Okay, I'm gonna go home. I'll see you later. Bye. In a bit. Enjoy. Have fun. <laughs> see ya. <laughs>